here's where you want to look underneath your vehicle to find tracking devices you see I have one there and I have one there these are both underneath my vehicle magnetically placed it would be really hard to find unless you're a professional so this is why the physical inspection is so important since my car is sitting still there's no detector that would pick up on those I had to physically find them Hello folks, this is Bob at Spy Geeks with another tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about how to find a GPS tracker on your vehicle. We're going to start with this one. It's an OBD vehicle tracker. We sell these on our website for about $100. Now here's all the different types of OBD trackers you'll see on the market. They have a funny little plug on them like that. Now you want to go out to your vehicle and locate this port. If you're having trouble finding your OBD port, then there's a website you can go to your called carmd.com and they have a little section where you can type in the make and model of your vehicle and it'll actually show you a picture of where the OBD port is in your particular car it shows you right where it's at so you want to go check out that port and see if there's anything plugged in that looks like these you can unplug it it won't look like part of the vehicle but that's a GPS tracking device folks and that steals power from your vehicle so they never have to worry about changing batteries but they do need access to the inside of your vehicle. All right, so now I'm gonna show you some more out in the store. Stand by. All right, back with you folks. These are the other two types of trackers we sell on our website. This one's called Flashback, and it's a passive one. This one you can put underneath the car, and you let them drive. When the car comes back, then you retrieve it and play it back on your computer. It tells you everywhere it went. So it's not transmitting, which means to find it, you have to do a physical inspection. That's the only way to find it. Uh, the other one we sell is a real-time tracker. It's in this heavy-duty earth magnet case, and this goes underneath the vehicle, and here's the tracker on the inside. You could either place it inside this case or put some Velcro on it and put it up in the dash or something, you know? So there's many ways to put these in, even if you don't have access. Here's all the other different types I've sold or either found doing sweeps on the market here. Like this one I found in a car, and it had Velcro. If I didn't do my physical inspection, I would have never found this. Which reminds me, you can't rely on bug detectors, folks. Right here, there's a little cheap bug detector for $59. These do not pick up tracking devices. The ones that do pick up tracking devices are way more expensive, like this one on our website, $338. The reason this works is because it picks up the cellular network. And then the quad band, 800, 900 megahertz, 1900, all the way to 1700 megahertz. You need to be able to detect for all those frequencies if you're picking up a tracking device. But don't rely on that. It's your physical inspection. The reason is tracking devices have a movement sensor built in. Unless the car is moving more than 11 miles an hour, it's not even transmitting. So you have to do the physical inspection. All right, here's two more you want to look out for. If the person had access to your car, they would have access to underneath the hood, and they could tie these into the battery, positive and negative on the battery, and it steals power that way. These are the older types, so not a lot of people are using these anymore because they like the small, compact, motion-activated deals better. So those are the best trackers on the market right there. These are some of the older ones you'll find. But how to find a tracking device on your vehicle? It could take a while. The physical inspection is what's most important. Don't rely on bug detectors. They don't work. Again, this is Bob at Spy Geeks. Thank you for watching our videos. Bye-bye.